But the real tough situation right now, Kun Tep Chai, is in the U.S., especially when we see how Mr. George Floyd, a black man, was killed during the investigation by white police officer in the U.S., and it has becoming very violent because we can see protests in many, many cities around the U.S. and even in other regions. And right now, we have Kunat Bunak joining us for this story. So Kunat, what's the latest situation? We can see that the protests are still violent across many cities in the U.S. This is because they are so angry over the death of George Floyd, an unarmed African American who was killed by a police officer last Monday. So, as you can see, the pictures that we that we've been seeing, like through the footage and through the media. People are coming out to the streets to demand justice for George Floyd, but almost every single protest end up with violence, where the police fire tear gas as well as flash grenades at the protesters. At the moment, there are at least 40 cities, including Washington D.C., have imposed her views in response to the protests, and at the and besides this, they also deployed National Guard members, up to 5,000 members, which have been activated in 15 states, including Washington, D.C., with another 2,000 Guard members prepared to activate if it's required. So besides the protests that are so violent in the U.S., it has already expanded to the U.K., where thousands of people in central London have come out to demand justice for George Floyd. Obviously, people share the same sentiment regarding the death of George Floyd. And people would like to see justice happen, especially on the police officer who, who did that to him. Yep. So what's really happened with the police officer? So currently, the police officer who killed George Floyd has been charged with third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter. So he will appear in court on Monday evening in U.S. time. But under the law in Minnesota, Third-degree murder is defined as causing death of a person by perpetrating an act eminently dangerous to others and evincing a depraved mind without regard for life and without intent to kill. Second the second-degree manslaughter is described as when a person in an unreasonable risk and consciously takes chances of causing death or great bodily harm to another. But based on the the results here that, that the police officer has been charged with, with these two, the third degree murder and second degree manslaughter, protesters, including other Americans, believe that the charges are not harsh enough for such a brutal act towards George Floyd. Yeah. And what about family of Mr. Floyd? What, what's the reaction? The reaction so far, the, the family of George Floyd have, have felt that they're really touched by all the protests that are going on because he, they believe that everyone is coming out not just to demand justice for George Floyd but also to show him how much everyone loved him. At the same time, they all want the officers who are involved in the death of George Floyd to be arrested because the whole family is going through much pain even though it has been a week already but the pain inside everyone's hearts, not just the family, but the entire American nation. Everyone is so angry and so, like, they felt like this is unfair to this society. Yeah, it's even play out deep racial division in American yes. society. And people must be very concerned, especially the cause of fighting by Martin Luther King. Yeah. since the old days and it's still very apparent yeah. nowadays yeah. all right okay hope that the things will not uh, get out of hand to the point of uh, having the whole country plunge into chaos that cannot be controlled hopefully uh, the situation might be in control in the next few weeks or so but the reason why this is so easily to get uh, to escalate is because 
the U.S. has a very long history about the, discri the, the discrimination against African Americans. If we go all the way back to the 1950s, even during that time, there are so many issues going on, such as discrimination, segregation, as well as African Americans being beaten up and being discriminated okay. so yeah. so badly, mm -hmm. even up until today, the prejudice against them is still is still there, even though we we don't it's not the same mm -hmm. as in the old days. Right now, you, we can yeah. still feel that there's prejudice against them. Definitely, there's a bit of pent up mood among the, a lot of Americans over these uh, prejudices and discriminations, and that's why I mean there has been a sudden outburst of violence. In reaction to what happened. Yeah. Okay. And most importantly, in recent years, there have been similar cases, similar to George Floyd, where, where the policemen who killed African Americans, usually the African Americans are unarmed. Unarmed means no weapons around yeah. them. Okay. When the verdict came out, usually it's the policemen who always found not guilty. So there is a shared feeling amongst Americans that there's still unfair treatment towards African Americans yeah. and it's still going on. And the George Floyd case is enough to trigger that feeling. Yeah. Okay. Reaction then. from the leader is crucial as well. Thank you okay. very much, Kunat. Thank you. Okay.